There is a candle. Let's pray. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. For no other heaven I know. So may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. This discourse is entitled Fight. For Samuel chapter 17, verse 1. Now the Philistines gathered the armies to battle and were gathered together at Shokoth, which belonged to Judah. There it speaks of a battle alignment between Israel and the arch nemesis, the Philistines. But before we move any further, please note where ground zero of the battle was situated. The Bible says, now the Philistines gathered together the armies to battle, and were gathered together at Shokoth, which belonged to Judah. The war which was being forged, in which the Philistine armies were presenting the frontal assault on God's people, the conflict which was being waged was being waged on the land that belonged to God's people. The land where the Philistines had pitched their tents and constructed their outposts. The locale from which they would eventually defy the armies of the living God. Their skirmishing depot, the land, the very habitation of the children. It was, it was, it was, it was the possession of the children of Israel. It was while standing right there where the Israelites dwelt, that the Philistine armies spouted their defiance and negativity. They were ready to engage, reeling to subdue the people of God, having marched and overtaken a part of their land. Much the same with us today, the enemy of our souls is waging a war on our turf, in our homes, with our children, at our schools, in our churches, in our marriages, with our finances, in our bodies, in our minds, with our spirituality. It is our possession, our belonging, our property, which the enemy is using as a launching pad to defy us and the God we serve. And that's why I'm glad that I've been given the opportunity to come by here to tell us all that we need to fight. Yes, sir. How we need to take back what the enemy has stolen. While that disaster, while that embarrassment was unfolding up there on the hills of Shokoff, a little shepherd boy was being beckoned by his father to run an errand. The Bible say in 1 Samuel 17, 12, now David the son was the son of that Ephraim of Bethlehem Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons, verse 13, and the three elders of Jesse's son went and followed Saul. Are we together? Yes. To the battle. And the names of the three sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, the next one to him, Abinadab, and the third, Shammah. It continues in 14, and David was the youngest of the three, and he was the youngest, and the three eldest brother followed Saul. Now you must know that David the 
did not go to the battle, not only because he was too young, but also because he was responsible for the family's livelihood. He was the keeper of the sheep. You would remember when Jesse went to anoint a king, when Samuel rather went to anoint the king at Jesse's house, that Jesse caused all seven of his sons who had, whom he had bedecked in royal attire to be anointed. And God, in communication constantly with Samuel, told Samuel that none of those was the one. And in verse 16 of 1 Samuel 